All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Hope you've all had a fantastic weekend, a fantastic Sunday, and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news. But before we do, guys, as always, be sure to smash 300 likes on this video. We've been smashing over 300 likes on all of these transfer videos. And also subscribe if you are new. Over 60% of you are watching these aren't subscribed. And we want to hit 13,000 subscribers ASAP. So get down there right now and subscribe. It's free and all the cool kids are doing it. And today, comment your player of the season so far for Leeds United. I want to know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Leeds United news. So uh, the, what we're going with now is the Ben Johnson rumours uh, surrounding uh, signing for Leeds United. Ben Johnson, uh, West Ham right back, left back, centre back, defender basically is out of question at West Ham and negotiations are going on as we speak. Uh, but the likes of Saints, uh, well Southampton, sorry, Sheffield United and Rangers have now joined uh, the the queue for a Ben Johnson signature. Leeds United still favourites for the signature of the young man. Again, Leeds United, despite good displays from Junior Furpo against Cardiff and Archie Gray, uh, you know, we still do need cover in that position. And Ben Johnson can play both right back and left back. Junior Furpo went, uh, went off yesterday in around like the 88th minute with a dead leg, bringing on Sam Byram, who again is just returning from injury. I think we all know we do need a uh, right back or a left back. But a player that can play both, you know, that's very helpful as well. So Ben Johnson, um, I was actually watching one Leeds this morning. Shout out to Connor. And uh, he said there's a bit of a problem to do with uh, the West Ham, you know, man signing, which I didn't really know too much about. Uh, apparently, it's to do with homegrown players as a rule in the Premier League is about homegrown players. And Connor Coventry uh, has just gone to Charlton and he was one of the last of the homegrown players at West Ham. So they kind of need to balance their books before maybe they can get rid of Ben Johnson. I didn't know this was even a rule. I, 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 I know I'm so out of touch. I didn't even know that was even a rule in the Premier League. But apparently it is. It's about having players that were born in England. And uh, apparently West Ham don't have enough. And Ben Johnson is one of the last sort of few, you know, that, that will balance that book out. So maybe they need to bring someone in. They are looking at Jack Clark. They have been uh, all of January. So if maybe Jack Clark did come into West Ham. That would give the green light for Ben Johnson to leave. I don't think it's going to be like a massive situation. I believe the West Ham and Leeds United are negotiating about it as we speak. But I, I, I don't really know. I didn't even know that was a problem. So shout out to Connor at one Leeds. Uh, and also a potential attitude problem as well with Ben Johnson. Obviously, we've seen the whole Jed Spence thing. You know, I don't think you can read too much into it. Apparently, he's had a falling out with David Moyes. That's what I've read. But it's to do with minutes. And obviously, if you're a footballer and you're not getting game minutes, then, you know, you're going to be frustrated. You know, it's. I think there's nothing really we should be worrying about too much there. But the homegrown thing, I know it's out of our sort of, you know, it's out of our help and out of our reach. But we, we can't seem to do anything about that. So, uh, yeah, let's just see if Leeds United do get uh, Ben Johnson. I would really like to to see Ben Johnson. I think he's a good player for this standard. And let's just see what happens. We haven't been linked with anyone too much apart from him. He's been the strongest link we have uh, got so far. And we're 14 days into the transfer window and Leeds United have still signed nobody. Uh, but, OK, we've got, you know, we want to strike gold. We don't want to just buy random players for the sake of it. Let's hopefully... Behind the scenes, 49ers are doing things in secret like they've done before. I'm not panicking yet, so neither should you. Uh, next up, Charlie Cresswell is wanted by Blackburn and Millwall. Millwall wants to sign him up again. Obviously, he had a fantastic spell on loan at Millwall, Charlie Cresswell, and they look like they want to get the youngster on a permanent deal. Same with Blackburn. Apparently, the Blackburn owner is a massive fan of Charlie, uh, Charlie Cresswell. Wanted to around four or five million pounds. Again, Charlie Cresswell's not getting any minutes uh, for Leeds United. This is to do with him needs to focus more, according to Daniel Farker. Yes, he's frustrated he's not getting minutes, but he needs to see a mindset there that he's going to get back into it. You don't just get back into the squad, uh, which I really respect from Daniel Farker. I, I do. Um, and uh, yeah, Charlie Cresswell is wanted. And I don't think Leeds United want to necessarily sell, but if a good enough offer comes in, they will sell. I think that's fair for Charlie Cresswell's career. You need to let him play some football. You can't just be rotten down and not playing any football at all. So if he's not going to play, let's get him gone and let's get some money for him. Next up, Diego Lorente to cut loan short at Roma to join PSG. I, I, I remember when this kind of came out, it was kind of like nearly kind of a day old news now, but I don't really believe too much of it, but it has been circulating again today that uh, Diego Lorente is to cut his loan short maybe at Roma and uh, to join PSG. PSG have just got rid of Skriniar at the back at uh, at PSG, the French club, and they want to sign Diego Lorente. I don't know about anyone else, but 
Diego Llorente for Leeds United was not necessarily someone who could even get into the Leeds United side, you know, let alone a PSG side and a Roma side. He's been brilliant out for Jose Mourinho's Roma side. And maybe we just didn't see the best of Llorente. And obviously Marcelo Bielsa saw someone in Diego Llorente. And now other foreign clubs are loving him. So I don't think he's got a future at Leeds United. Uh, so we'll have to see how that one speculates if he does cut his loan short and joins PSG. Yes, you're hearing this right, ladies and gentlemen. PSG wants Diego Llorente, yeah? The end is near, as Homer Simpson would say. Next up, West Brom are in the hunt for Joe Geldhart's signature. Obviously, Joffe has been a bit of an out-of-favour striker for Leeds United. Again, not getting the minutes here at the club. West Brom do want uh, the youngster. Obviously, uh, when he went out on Sunderland uh, for loan, uh, Joffe, he was, he didn't really set the world alight there. Uh, and West Brom are kind of, you know, uh, you know, promotion rivals. Will Leeds United sell to a promotion rival? I don't believe they will. Celtic and Rangers are still interested in Joffe. Do I think Joffe will leave? I I don't know. I don't know, to be fair. He is still kind of part of Farker's plans on the bench, but we're not really seeing him get any minutes at all. Obviously, at the moment, he's turning to Piro. Uh, he's, he's using the same sort of substitutes. When Bamford starts, Piro will come on for him, but if Piro starts, Bamford will come on. Willie Nonto, Anthony, you know, the same sort of subs. We're not really seeing... And Mateo Joseph gets in ahead of Geldhart, so maybe we could see Joffe go out on loan. Uh, next up, Nico Williams uh, commenting on Ethan Ampadu's Instagram. Uh, with He put a comment saying, oh, my skip, with the eyes. And people are saying, well, look at that. Well, he's, he's commented. Uh, that, that means he's coming to Leeds. I don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. Forrest are very reluctant to sell Nico Williams in this transfer window. They're also Welsh teammates. It's just a friendly thing. Do you know what I mean? It is just a friendly thing. Yes, he's teasing the Leeds United fans a bit. And people are saying, well, he's not the Welsh captain. So what, why is he saying that? I think it's just mate banter. I wouldn't read too much into it, guys. I really, really wouldn't. Uh, next up, Jed Spence. The reason he did leave Leeds United. Obviously, when we all found out about this, we we're thinking, what is Daniel Farker doing? But it was to apparently to do with he's arrived late to training before he was arri uh, arriving late to team meetings and he also missed a club event and it was just showing the attitude and Farker was not liking it. So he sent him back. And for that, I completely like I, 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 I agree with Daniel Farker. Brilliant. Get rid of him. I don't want them type of players in our squad. And uh, Jed Spence, that was from a Tottenham source on Twitter, uh, like a Tottenham fan sort of page thing. And uh, yeah, so if that is true, then fair play to Daniel Farker. And uh, yeah, Jed Spence has now gone out on loan to Italy. Tottenham don't even want him there either. So I feel sorry for Jed Spence. He's going to be one of them players that, you know, you think, yeah, he had the potential, but he hasn't got the attitude. And you can have all the talent in the world, but hard work beats talent every day of the week. Uh, and a few more things just to end it on. Luke Ayling made his debut for Middlesbrough and apparently, according to the Middlesbrough fans, had a hell of a game. Uh, they won 3-1 yesterday. Fair play to Byron. Fair play to my boy, Bill. He could have got man of the match, people were saying. And also Darko JB uh, debuted yesterday in the middle of the park for Plymouth with their 1-1 draw against Huddersfield. Again, praised by the gaffer. Apparently, Darko JB was excellent. I always knew there was a player in there and he's going to get some regular minutes. So fair play to Darko JB. And uh, just a little Cardiff reaction. I was very happy with the performance. Obviously, I did put out a reaction yesterday, but very happy with the performance. Uh, a nice little 3-0 win. It was nice to see Ethan Ampadu can slot nicely into that centre-back spot with the captain's armband. Gruev having the game of his life. Somerville, you know, not even having the best game, but he got a couple of assists and Bamford back on the score sheet. It was fantastic. We move on to Preston at the weekend. I'm excited for that one. Guys, if you did enjoy the latest Leeds United transfer news, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 300 likes. Subscribe if you are new. Remember, 60% of you who are watching these videos aren't subscribed. Change that and subscribe right now and also comment your player of the season so far in a Leeds United shirt. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next one. Say it back. Cheery. You don't know. Oh.